hello and welcome to my channel so in this tutorial I will talk about the behavior implementation so behavior implementation is nothing but a just a class so technically it's a class so where as ever part you can write the code and you can write the logic so you can see that uh, it is also refer to a behavior definition on behavior definition can have one too many implementation and behavior definition is nothing but it just a, what you can do with a business object so for example a sales order is a business object so what operation you want to do it can be you want to create update or delete the sales order then this basically that is the behavior definition but if you want to create if you want to delete or if you want to update any existing sales order you have to write some code so here in that class you will write that code and after that actually it will trigger the insert or update or delete and it will create the sales order and in under that sales order you can see that is the line item on too many line item and um, on too many line item could have that multiple uh, timeline or schedule line item so it will it will handle everything is the like root entity means that like it will also take care the uh, sales order and it will also take care the sales order item and it is also take care the schedule line item so now actually you can see that all of your code writing so here you can just declare that it is insert or update but behavior implementation so here actually you have to write your actual code so actual code you are writing your actual code actually that is the reason you are implementing these uh, behavior definitions like here you can just define that update but update is just a keyword but actual code you are writing here so as you are writing here actually that is the reason that is called that you are implementing the behavior definition so now let's talk about the behavior implementation type so based on your requirement actually SAP framework offer uh, two type of implementation one is the managed and another is the unmanaged so managed Unmanaged. So managed means that actually what the SAP standard um, SAP uh, standard means that like what the SAP framework provide you can just use this it is just, just a pure uh, framework and developer can do anything um, from scratch. and um, like whatever you want to use that um, for that new application is highly beneficial from out-of-box support for transactional process so transactional process means that like here you can see if you go back to the previous so when whenever you have that in a transactional process then you have to use the behavior definitions so if you don't have any transactional process then actually you you don't need to implement the behavior definitions or behavior implementation you can just directly use the cds view so here as you are uh, declaring your application as a transactional process so framework will do every thing for you so basically that 
as a developer you don't need to do anything you can just follow the uh, guidelines and you can implement like insert update delete but you have to you have to only focus on logic so here in the manage systems so basically that um, framework will do everything and you will get that all um, insert update delete all center standard process all frameworks you don't need to do anything you need to just follow the guidelines and you need to focus on the business logic based on who, who what logic it will insert or based on which logic it will delete update anything and now let's talk about but sometimes it may happen for example that in your company you already using some uh, logic and based on that logic you are using the some um, functional module so in this case actually you have to you cannot go for the uh, managed because managed is means that from scratch everything you are developing but SAP support their base practice but sometimes it may happen that like um, you already using that um, applications and you already uh, develop your uh, logic so in this case actually you can go for the unmanaged so unmanaged means that developer needs to do everything needs to do everything so everything means that whatever you want to uh, do actually standard sap system will not support um, anything you have to like here you can see that like behavior definition so behavior definition if you if you just um, use that keyword insert and you implement that class then it will framework will automatically create but if you follow that unmanage then basically you have to you will not get any functional standard you have to write your code um, you have to write your code means that uh, you have to write your code to insert update delete whatever you want to do so and another thing is that like uh, you can see in the previous video that uh, there are some uh, transaction buffer uh, and also some uh, pooling systems how it will manage the number range and other things so in the manage scenario SAP um, SAP will take care of everything so, but unmanaged scenario uh, you have to complete that everything um, I mean that it's a uh, developer responsible for writing the code so um, compared to if if I compare uh, both manage and unmanage then um, manage is uh, easy and you don't need to write that much code but what is the problem problem is that like sap suggests that if you if if everything is new um for example like you uh, you you just started as um sap as for hana then actually you don't need to go for the um, unmanaged because everything is new and you can see that as we also saying that if everything is new then you should start from scratch so in this case you can go for the uh, scratch but um, for example that already you are using the ECC system EC system so on that EC systems you already have some uh, business logic here so if you already have some business logics like for example
logic then you should not go for the manage because you already have that business logic so in this case actually you can you can go for the um, unmanage so basically that is the that is the main things when you will use that manage and why when you will use the unmanage so in this case unmanaged because you are using ECC and uh, like you have already existing business logic so you can use but if you have that here like the um, new you just newly deployed so in this case you can use that manage So now that is the main things about that what is the implementation type and what is the menace and what is the un unmanaged things. So mainly that's the things, um, nothing else is not the complex. But uh, I also described about what model, what type you want to select is based on your requirements. And when when in the next video when I will uh, start the project I think then the time you will you will be more uh, clear about it thank you